Hi, I'm Richard McAllister, the chaplain for Men's Sheds at WA. Every so often I do a chaplain's log and I've been asked to put it online as part of our Facebook page. Part of my role as chaplain for each shed is specifically the Shed Who to work with the wellbeing and health officer and uh, to ensure the safety of the shed. Who would have thought a month ago that all sheds would be closed across Australia and we'd be forced to social isolate to a certain degree and keep our distance. At the Goldfields uh, zone meeting, the only one we could hold, uh, I outlined a few strategies which I've employed myself and also are using for us as sheds and looking after our members uh, while they're social isolating, plus of course uh, in my own family. So I'd like to just go through them, they're not mind-blowing, uh, you're probably doing them, but uh, it might remind us. The, uh, so the title is Staying Safe, Staying Strong. The first strategy is the oxygen mask strategy. Now we've all seen airline videos on safety. The oxygen mask falls down and it says put it on yourself before you look after others. We have a duty of care to ourselves as well as our families and I know that as men, fathers, grandfathers, husbands. We want to look after everybody first, and uh, but we need to look after our own health as well before we look after other people's health. The second strategy is the communal health strategy. It's been a lot about social isolating, which I think physical distancing is best. Uh, washing hands all the time, not shaking hands when you meet someone. Uh, and quarantine or social isolate uh, if necessary. I'm keeping my distance from people because I might be affected. But just about that communal health strategy, we're now down to uh, number, you know, two people. Now, what does that mean? Well, the ABC News uh, online put out a special bulletin this morning or, or a special paper on it asking the government, what does it mean for us? And I just want to read from a little bit from it. Uh, the two-person limit does not apply to people within your household. So if there's four living with you, that's a two-person household. If you want to go for a run with a friend, it can only be the two of you. Can I go and visit a family member? Yes, you can. This too was not made clear in the Sunday evening press conference, but has since been confirmed to the ABC. A family split across two houses can meet, so you can go and visit your parents or a sibling although common sense probably ought to be used and the usual social distancing protocol should be employed. So we can visit our grandchildren and children if we are well and if they are well. If not, don't go. This leads me to the are you okay strategy. Look out for one another through phoning, Three weeks ago, Queensland had 3,000 people in uh, self-isolation. And every day, without fail, the Red Cross phoned each one, asking how they were and touching base with them. Even when people weren't social isolating themselves alone, but were with their families, they said it was so important to hear from outside, so that someone cared. The Department of Health was also phoning them every three days. I. Uh, think a buddy system in our sheds could be really good so it doesn't fall just on the who officer or the, the, the team leaders in the shed. Another strategy is what I call the RAOK, Random Acts of Kindness, R-A-O-K. In the USA recently, a man paid a $51 restaurant bill and they left a tip for $2,500 for the staff. Now that may be beyond your means and it is certainly beyond mine, but we can do other things. Closer to home, an old man handed out toilet paper outside a supermarket to people that had left it, uh, missed out. And just recently I heard of a man in Melbourne who went down the queue at Centrelink handing out $100 bills. Uh, probably a lot of people saw that and maybe lined up when they didn't need it, but what a great uh, gesture it was. Uh, you can share your stories on Facebook. How you've been, uh, people have been kind to you or you've been kind to others and just encourage that just to keep our hopes up and our, our um, spirits high during this time. 
Anyway, I've got more strategies to give, but I think it would be good if I split this up into at least two or three parts. So that was uh, Staying Safe, Staying Strong, part one. I'm praying for your families, I'm praying for you, and if you need uh, um, con to contact me for anything, uh, my number is in the website. We'll also be printing this through the website so you can read a copy of it and hand it out, should you so wish. God bless. Look after yourself. Stay safe. Stay strong.